You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canister. Just a clip. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is, he just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. 
Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, oh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. What about the rest of the This is the on... evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Most of my squad died in that fighting. They call me the Butcher of Torfin. I wish there'd been another way. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room.
Immediately following the first contact war, an anonymous extranet manifesto warned that an alien attempt at human genocide was inevitable. The manifesto called for an army, a Cerberus to guard against invasion through the Charon Relay. Derided as survivalist rhetoric written by an elusive man, the manifesto and its anonymous author soon fell off the media radar. But in 2165, terrorists stole antimatter from the SSV Geneva. The sole figure arrested named his sponsor Cerberus. Throughout the 2160s and 2170s, alleged Cerberus agents assassinated politicians, sabotaged starships bearing Ezo, and conducted nightmarish experiments on aliens and humans. Denounced as human supremacist, Cerberus calls itself human survivalist. Counter-terror experts speculate Cerberus may have changed leadership with its recent shift to stockpiling ships, agents, and weapons. Whether he, she, or they, the elusive man hides his finances hidden behind shell companies. Few doubt he will kill anyone attempting to expose him.